even Disney's dressing on violence. And then the girls start to dress on violence. Because that's their role model. You need to turn off your source like your TV and start to read your Bible. Parents, you need to go home, repent, and turn to Jesus Christ, put your faith in Him. And start to read your children the Bible and bring them up the right way. God will forgive you for steering your kids astray from the Word of God. But start and turn to Him and start to pray for your unsaved children. Stop playing games. Stop it. Wake up, Gil. Stop. And wake up and realize God is real. And one day we're all going to die. Every one of us. A lot of people are just gambling with their souls like they're in Vegas, like they're in Atlantic City or the Poconos. They're gambling with their souls like at the racetrack. But you're not going to win. You're not going to win. So stop playing Russian roulette with your valuable soul. And be willing to stop. Get on your knees. And have godly tears of repentance. Have godly tears of repentance where you want to turn from your lifestyle and turn to Jesus Christ. Put your faith and hope in Him, your total trust. You put your faith in Jesus Christ like jumping out of an airplane with a parachute. It will break your fall. That's what you want to do. Turn to Him today. Turn to Jesus Christ and have life. Stop it. Wake up. Turn. Surrender. Cry out. Call out. Right, On the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. There is no name under heaven which a man or woman can be saved except for Jesus the Messiah. No other name under heaven can save your soul from hell. No other name under heaven. There is only one name under heaven. It's Jesus Christ. Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through him. He didn't say Allah. He didn't say Buddha. He didn't say your rosary beads. He said he is the only way, the truth, and the life. He, Jesus, is the only mediator between man and God. There is no other way to heaven. The difference from Muhammad and Buddha and Jesus is Jesus rose from the dead and had over 500 witness eye accounts. Here it's up. There's none for Muhammad and Buddha during the grave. Dust. The wake of blowing around. All right, okay. all right. All dust no broken up. But Jesus rose from the dead. Even doubting Thomas put his fingers in his side, in his wrist, and realized that he is the Son of God. He said, oh Lord, you are God, you are God. Oh my Lord, oh my God. He knows. Doubting Thomas even believed when he saw Jesus, but Jesus said to Doubting Thomas, Blessed are the ones that don't see and believe, that believe by faith alone. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. You put your faith in money, job, higher education. No. Then it can disappear and be gone forever. But are you willing to put your faith in the Messiah? Huh? Are you willing to turn to Him? Huh? People put their faith in so much. Are you coming to Newark? It's so sad our standards are so wrong. We want to protect the huh? whales. And it's, we want to protect the seals. But we got abortion clinics all over the country killing innocent babies right now. Okay. As we talk all over the world. The abortion clinics make Hitler look like a Sunday school teacher. It's horrible. The thing is that we need to turn to Jesus Christ and let him change our life where we want to take a stand against that stuff. Homosexuality, against abortion, against prejudice. And we want to turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Him today. We want to turn to Jesus Christ where we want to start to go out and share the gospel. We have a change of life where we start to love souls. The problem is people don't love souls. A lot of people don't even love their own soul. They rather continue to live in sin. They rather continue to rebel. Some people rather continue to rebel against God, live as homosexuals or lesbians. It's, it's horrible. They got their minds are twisted. People are living as Muslims and they're lost, but they need a savior named Jesus Christ who can save your soul from hell. You need a true oil from above. Oil that gives life, the Holy Spirit. You need a true oil 
that makes the light shine. Hello? You need the Spirit of God in you. A lot of people don't have the Spirit of God in them. They got the Spirit of liquor. They got the Spirit of false what? gods in them, like Allah and Muhammad. You got to repent of that sin and turn to the hey, true what? God that died on the cross for you, that laid his life down for you. What? Jesus Christ died for us to set us sinners free, that we don't have to suffer in hell. Stop it. Wake up. All this was deep. And turn to Jesus Christ. You don't want it, man. You cry out for more beer. You cry out for more drugs. You cry out for more homosexuality lifestyle. You cry out for the things of the world. You cry out for more channels on your TV. But you cry out for your soul. But you cry out to God for His mercy, grace, and love. Oh, you cry out for more death on yourself when you live in sin. You cry out. People just keep dressing on bodies with their breasts hanging out with legs exposed. That's what people care about. They don't care about themselves. If you cared about your soul, you would repent and cry out to God for His mercy and love. And let God change your lives and change your attitude, change your purpose, where you want to serve Him and love your neighbor. Now back to God bless. The thing is, people are selfish and prideful. Lose the pride. Humble yourself. Would you trust and turn to Jesus Christ who can save your soul from hell. Man. I'm going to see you all get saved and do it. You want to die for your sins, man. I don't want to see you die in your sins. I don't want to see you die and be disobedient to mom and dad. I don't want to see you die as an unmodest dressed woman. I don't want to see you die as a homosexual or a drunk or a liar or a thief. That's why we come here to preach the truth, to repent and turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free. I don't want to see you die in your sin, in your unrighteousness. Turn to Jesus who can set you free. I don't want to see you die as being prejudiced. I don't want to see you die. I don't want to see you die as a homosexual or sodomite. I want to see you get saved by Jesus Christ. I want to see you put your faith and hope in Him today. It's like me throwing a life vest at you. And I'm trying to gra you're trying to throw it to you, but you won't reach it. I'm throwing a life vest to you to save you from the drowning water. But you're drowning in your sin. But you won't reach out to Jesus and say, Jesus, I give up. Grab me and take me out of this, this muck, this sin. And Jesus says, I paid the price for you. I died for you to set you free. I bless you, brother. Jesus can pull you out of your sin. Jesus can change your life. i seen Jesus make homosexuals straight. i seen Jesus make drunkards sober. i seen Jesus have liars tell the truth. i seen Jesus change people and rock their worlds and change their lives when they want to live for God. Jesus can change a woman to dress modest. Jesus Christ can change a woman not to want to have an abortion. Jesus Christ can change you. Are you willing to repent? Are you willing to turn to God today? Are you going to keep turning your dial on the TV all day like a couch potato and let it fill you up with garbage sorts with bootleg DVDs? Turn to Jesus Christ who can save your soul from hell today. Have life. Have life today through the King of Kings. Oh, you need to get saved. You need Jesus Christ. Oh, turn to Him today. Have life. Turn to the love of God. Jesus Christ died on the cross for us to set us free from our sins. You have to turn from your lifestyle. Repent and trust in Jesus Christ who can save your soul from hell. Turn to Him today. Jesus can save you from hellfire. That's why He died on the cross and took the wrath of God upon Him for us and paid for our All sins and full. Turn today to Jesus Christ and have life. Amen. Here you go, bro. Is it Michael? Nah, I don't know what he's... He's trying to say something, but I can't hear him. Yeah, here.